Hi and welcome, and it's lovely to meet Joseph. You're the man behind the Youth Artist Development Awards. So can you explain what the Youth Artist Development Awards are? Well, the, the Young Arts Development Awards, um, but it does take in youth, but it, it, it also, um, it's not limited to just under 18s. Um, I'll give you a bit of, I suppose, a bit of background to it. Um, the program was um, set up um, because of a, a bad experience that a young artist had while working abroad, and uh, whereby he was spotted uh, as, a, as a very promising talent, and he was approached, and a couple of individuals wanted to, to manage and invest into his career and so on. And it transpired anyway that uh, a contract was put out in front of him to sign after a short period of time um, in a foreign language, was one, one element of it. He had a good sense not to sign it and he sent it home where we had a look at it and uh, we, got, we got some advice and basically it was from there, it, 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 it sort of led on to a bad experience for him. Um, but it was obvious to us that there was a need for um, a period of protection, I suppose if you want to call it, for, for young artists who are thinking of pursuing a career in music. Um, artists, I mean by like, you know, songwriters, singers, performers, um, and even if they didn't want to um, you know, pursue a career, um, there were certain elements there that they have to know to, to, to be protected. So we just felt that that really wasn't happening within the industry, really. So we set over that in mind. Um, how and why were these awards set up? Well, that probably just I, I probably answered yeah. in, in the last one, yeah. Um, and I, I suppose to, to follow on from from the experience that the, the that young artist had, we felt that um, you know there was. Where would it stop? You know, at what age should we really try and offer that sort of cushion of protection? So we looked at um, we looked at up to 26 years of age, and we set up a, a, an organisation called the Young Artists Association of Ireland, and that is there, um, I suppose, to 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 have and run different initiatives uh, for for youth and young young, young artists and. Uh, the ad is, is, is the first initiative under that umbrella, if you want to call it. You know. How successful have they been so far? So far, uh, very successful in their own right. It's not, a, it's not fully a nationwide program yet, simply because um, we wanted to pilot the program um, and scale it up somewhat. Uh, and we piloted the program first initially in the term of 2012 and followed on from that. We just took a sample of schools and we rolled out the format there. And it worked well. Uh, we saw some things that we'd like to improve and we take you know, the advice from teachers, from the artists themselves on board. And we sort of um, rejigged it and, and I suppose redesigned some modules of it uh, for the next one, which is this one. And um, in this one in particular, what we've done is we have extended it out to include other youngsters, other youth would say that are um, who like music but may not actually play or perform music, but in some way connected to other art forms like photography and videography, and that's evident here today by the departments that are, that are set up and they're, they're, they're doing their job here uh, as part of the, the, the award. And, um, you know, so as you know, we, we set up a number of departments and taking other art forms. And it, you know, it, it it gives I suppose students the opportunity to to explore that themselves. Uh, what are your thoughts on how we're going with our showcase so far? So far, you're it's very good. Um, you know, on arrival, you know, it's great to see that you're you're welcomed in, and you have everything. The venue is is, is a lovely lovely venue to to perform in uh, here in Formoy, and um, it's. It's great to see everybody working together. Now I know as part of the program, you get your briefs and um, you work together on those and it's evident that you're doing that effectively. So that's, we're looking forward to, to, to the event today. What advice would you give to our acts performing today? To the acts? Okay, well as I understand that you have three acts performing. Um, what they have done so far, they've done. It's not an exam. So it's about getting up you know it's all about original work, 
so they're getting up and they're performing their own work. They've took the time, whether it's through a co-write with some other students, uh, to write uh, uh, lyrics and, and music and, and arrange those and have it performed. And in some cases we have um, songs being presented through the programme that are um, the lyrics are written by one person, the music by another, it's arranged by another, it's performed by another. So it's really a collaborative process, you know, and I would say that um, the format that we use, uh, we're not a talent competition as you know, and uh, it's a development program, purely a development program, and therefore we don't have judges. We have a panel that assess the work and, and uh, critique the work. So they will be able to, after this, to look at what these professionals say and take on board their you know, suggestions about the music and just go forward with it and as I said it's not an exam, enjoy it, enjoy it. No. Um, finally, could you explain a little bit more about what happens to our winner after staying? Okay, well first and foremost um, we concentrate I suppose initially on, because this is new work, it's work that is owned by the people who wrote it, it's not owned by us, we don't take any uh, rights to these work, the rights are retained by the artists and the, 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 the people who wrote them. Um, and that's the starting point of it. And once they perform, we're going to, um, as I said, the work will be critiqued and, and one, of, one of the performers here today will be selected. It's not selected on the day uh, because the panel we use, some of them are touring the world. Okay, um, so they, they'll critique it uh, within a certain uh, time frame. And then we'll uh, let them, the school know uh, who's going to represent the school in the next stage. And the next stage of that is actually a workshop where the one individual or band, whether from each school, will actually go through into a workshop and work with these people uh, who are top end professionals and um, who are a great bunch given of their time to this. And um, from there, then, I suppose the workshop will just allow them to. Um, think a bit more about the work and develop it a bit more and then from there we'll have an award night which is going to be held um, in September and from there whoever comes through that uh, will, will go on to record their own work and work with some very good people. Sounds brilliant. So finally I just want to thank Joseph so much on behalf of all of our school our acts for giving our students such a brilliant opportunity to further their music career. Great, it was a lovely meeting. Thanks very much. Hi, my name is Katrina Fenton and I'm here with the 2012 voice winner Pat Byrne. So Pat, how did you get involved with Youth Artist Development Awards? Um, I live quite near Joseph and uh, we've heard, we know of each other. We never actually met in person but uh, he just gave me a call one day and asked me if I'd be interested and he said yeah I'd love to because I've had some experience within the music industry and what it's like for young artists who don't really know the ins and outs of the music industry and how difficult it is to, to deal with managers and stuff like that so I thought it was important to show to educate young young artists in that way rather than just teach them how to play instruments and stuff like that so I think it's a great initiative and I'm glad to be part of it. It's question one then. <laughs> yeah. So um, what are your thoughts on youth artists and otherwise? Uh, I didn't know what to think. I, I was looking forward to it and I wasn't involved last year. This is my first week and we started in Killarney in um, St. Bridget's Killarney on Monday and the standard was unbelievable and every school we've been at since like the standard of songwriting and singers and players is just amazing so uh, it's been really enjoyable and I love how the students run it and we just come in and get told what to do like I'm not doing anything here except singing a few songs you're kind of running the show and I think it's, a, it's very good yes. Yeah. Um, what advice would you give to our acts while they're on the stage? Just to relax and uh, relax and enjoy themselves really, they don't have any other advice. Yeah. So um, what advice would you give them when they're continuing on into the music industry? Uh, it's so fun. I, I don't know, just to be careful and uh, make sure you give stuff to your lawyers to read over and don't sign anything too quickly and uh, don't listen to sweet talkers. <laughs> yeah. So um, how have you found the ad experience so far? It's been great crack. Uh, it's been like a little holiday for me because all the all the schools have been down in Munster, so I've been staying in Killarney and Cork, and uh, had a good time in yeah. between the shows. So um, yeah, and it's great to meet. I love working with young people, and uh, I guess that's it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.
but before I did the voice I was involved in a lot of youth work and I studied for it so I like being around schools and stuff and uh, it's just been very fun. Um, after being on The Voice of Ireland and winning, how do you feel how do you feel about those types of shows and the effects that they have? Um, like I had a great time on The Voice and uh, really enjoyed my time and it's done good. Like I have a career now in the, in the sense that I'm gigging constantly and there's money coming in for me and uh, I know, I've met a lot of people where I can go and make albums and stuff like that. Uh, but it's not, I mean, I, I'm not a fan of the shows myself, I don't watch them. And, uh, looking back at myself on it, it's a bit cringy. Uh, like, it, I don't know, I think Irish talent shows, they're not great, really. Yeah. But uh, still, I had a lot of fun on it. And uh, I don't know if, I, I recommend them for people who want to have fun and want to raise their profile and get out there a bit. But I don't know if, if I was, if I'd enter it now again, I don't know if I'd do it, so. But I still had a good time. Yeah. I'm not going to be watching them though. Yeah. So, thanks for speaking with us and I hope you have a great time for the rest of the show. Thanks so yep. thanks. I'm talking to Kelly Wheeler, the production manager and the woman behind the running of this show. So Kelly, how did you get involved with Young Artist Development Awards? Um, Ms. Healy selected me from everyone that went for project manager. Um, tell us a bit about the organisation that went into putting on the show. Well, we had to rent out this hall to make it possible to hold a show. Then we had each department head pick a team and organise each area for stage, photos, videography, everything else. And then just it. Um, many different event management departments were involved in making today possible. Could you tell us a little bit about what each department did? Well, each department, I suppose, had its challenging points. There was press and marketing, who had to put an advert into the newspaper, put posters up around schools and this hall itself. Then there was photo, photography and videography, who had to take videos and photos of each act. Then there was hospitality, who had to organise food, water, tea, coffee for visitors and each act. And then there was security, who had to make sure the whole event was secure. How do you feel the showcase went? Um, I personally think it went better than what I expected and I thought it was great. Um, finally, what advice would you give to future product production managers if they were doing this event? Um, to make sure everything's prepared in a good bit of time beforehand. Don't leave anything to the last minute, no matter how small you think it is, to always be prepared and to enjoy yourself. Okay, that's it. Thanks, Kelly. I'm here with one of our three acts today, Katie Brown. And she'll be performing her own original song and cover song in front of a panel of judges, hoping that she'll be one of the acts selected. So Katie, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got into music. Um, well, I'm 18 and I have been studying music since first year at school. Um, I started guitar in second year, uh, but I did start to sing until third year. And since then I have formed like, the Monster Youth Choir, I've sung for the president, and I've kind of gone all around the country doing the things, so okay. having fun. Uh, what's the name of your song and what inspired it? Uh, the name of my song is The One and I know it was, it was a long process writing it, it took a while. Um, I wrote it at one of my friends house so he kind of put input into it but uh, I, don't know. I don't know if it's personal or not yet. <laughs> um, so what was your process in preparing for today? Uh, well, a lot of practice went into it, um, a lot of kind of tidying up and tiny changes in the song that are making me feel a bit more comfortable playing and singing it. So, small things like that. Um, how do you feel about performing today? Oh, I'm quite nervous, to be honest, because I've never done one of my own songs in front of people before, so it's kind of, how will they take it? Um, finally, so what if you, if you win today, what plans do you have for the future? Um, carry on with music, because what I'm like doing at the moment is music, trying to break into the industry and kind of get a career for myself with something to do with music, so I carry on with that and, until someone says no. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Katie, for um, interviewing with us today, and uh, best of luck with your performance. Thank you very much. So, I'm here to do one of our three acts today, here at Deadpool McCarthy. And they'll be performing one of their own original songs and a cover song in front of the panel of judges in the hopes that they will win why Yala. Yala. So tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got into music. 
Um, well, me and Declan are obviously brother and sister. Um, we've always been interested in music. We basically grew up with it, like mom and like mom was so into music as well. And we just had like music room at home with the piano and the drums and the guitars and everything like inside there. So we just always have been doing music. <laughs> and a lot of so what's the name of your song and the inspiration behind it? Um, the name of our song is Beside You and I just made it up because um, well, it is actually about something but I kind of just exaggerated on the truth a small little bit to make it sound better than my life actually is. <laughs> you know? I, I put nothing towards the whole writing of the song, I just put a beat in the background. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. What was the process of preparing for today? Um, well, I wrote a song actually, I texted it out onto my phone one night because I was thinking about things and then I just decided I'd type out like a lot of words onto my phone and then I used them words like I obviously changed them a bit since my phone and like I like made up the song a good bit ago like the air of it but it was totally different words that weren't good so I changed it to these other words and we just practiced it. Like two songs originally and just changed the lyrics. Yeah, we, cha yeah, we changed yeah, we changed them. Yeah, swapped them. So Declan, how did you prepare for today? Well, Kira originally wrote the songs, so she had it ready made. All I had to do was sit down with the cajon and hit it. <laughs> um, how do you feel about performing today? Um, I'm kind of nervous because we're first done. I'm really kind of nervous. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um, and if you win today, what are your plans for the future? Um, well, I would like to do something in music in the future. It would be really, really cool to get into the music business. It would be pretty fast. Yeah. All right. What about yeah. you, Declan? Um, yeah, uh, I, I guess it's an option. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. So, thanks for talking with me today, and best of luck. Good luck, Thank you. So, I'm here with another one of our three acts today, Padre Glee. And he will be performing his own original song and a cover song in front of our panel of judges hoping that he would be selected today. So hi, Padraig, tell us a bit about your... <laughs> Can we do this again? <laughs> oh, there's still part of the interview! Oh. Well, 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 it's free. We have DJ, Padraig... <laughs> in front of our panel of judges in the hopes that they will go through to the finals of Yada. So tell us a little bit about yourselves and your background in music. Well, uh, my name is Patrick Lane, as you know. Uh, I'm actually I'm originally... raging alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> go on. I'm originally from Kerry, moved to New York, and then six years ago I moved here. I've been playing guitar and singing for about 11 months now, and started in TY and didn't stop yet. Guys? Uh, my name's uh, Dennis John Flynn. <laughs> uh, He's also an alcoholic. <laughs> but uh, I started uh, playing the banjo at say when I was, say around, I think when I was 14 or something. I'd say it was five, six years ago when I. And we normally play trad. Yeah, we normally play trad music, but. For this, I paid them. Yeah, they're not really friends. Um, my name is Caroline. She's the only non-alcoholic. The pioneer. Um, I played the bar on, and yeah. She plays the bar on. Yeah. So, what's the name of your songs, and what were the inspiration behind them? Well, the first one's called Travel, and I wrote that. I was listening to Johnny Cash and I just listened to a lot of it, went up to shed, tried to write kind of Johnny Cashy song, wrote that, came up with that. And the second song, I was really bored because there's no one at home. So I started playing around with tunes and just came up with it. Um, what, really was, what was the name, what was the process of preparing for today? 
Uh, we, we did. Well, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we didn't do much, like, you know, but uh, I'd, say, I'd say half an hour of practice in school one day, and then. <laughs> Uh, was it like it was me? Don't show this before they decide because they'll think we're really unprepared. <laughs> me and Paz to start off with it. Yeah. <laughs> it me and Paz to start off with it and then we said we need a bit of oomph in the, the, yeah. the group so we carry this here now. So, uh, was it exactly that? what DJ said to me when I said we should have made a band. Nah lad, never gonna work. I yeah. showed him the song and out of nowhere. Oh yeah, you know what, I could actually. <laughs> that. <laughs> and then, That's uh, how. Was it a... Uh, I said we didn't practice. Day he came over to our house for that's a two hours and practice one song, and then li literally last night we threw the second song together. So please don't show this before the ad is made. Everyone else is so prepared, and we just threw it together. Yeah. So how did you feel about performing today? Grand. Yeah. Good. That's not too bad. I wasn't for it. Then, like you know. Yeah. It's good to be in front of your peers, like. Yeah. Get a bit of practice. Yeah. Um, if you win today, what plans do you have for the future? Well, I'm going to Disneyland. <laughs> 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 Best plan I've heard it. Yeah, yeah. That's going to work, mate. Well, I don't know. Call Universal while you're there, like. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Oh no, I'd say Paris. Paris. That would be a nice one. Yeah. No, just, just, we see what happens anyway. Like, we see where the wind takes us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that, was really, that was really corny. I'm so sorry. <laughs> So uh, thanks for talking to us today and uh, best of luck. I hope you win and go to Disneyland. <laughs> you can come. Thanks, Dennis John, Paul, Jigen, Caroline. <laughs>